Sziasztok, srácok! Laura vagyok. Tamás vagyok. Angol vagyok. Magyar vagyok. Mi egy pál vagyok? Um, Due to popular demands and more YouTube friendly videos where we're going to be talking about travel and Hungarian and weasels and weasel. We oh. never talked about weasels ever. Be careful not to show the side of my head because the back of my head is like really greasy. Yeah. What is what is weasel in Hungarian? Menyit. 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 And so joining to me today. Joining to me today. So joining me today is a special guest, Hungarian Tomás, and he's going to be helping me tell you about my travels, my recent travels to Egypt. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be talking to you about the things I experienced there, how I found it different to Hungary, and we're going to throw in the odd Hungarian word or two. Repülőgéppel. Repülőgéppel. Ooh, are you excited? I am very excited. Excited. What's what's camel in in Hungarian? Teve. Teve. Oh. Teve! Hol van a teve? Egyiptomban van. Egyiptomban van a teve. Egyiptomban van a teve. No. What should I be doing now? Laura, who did you go to Egypt with? Uh, I went with Matt. Who is Matt? Who is Matt? Who is Matt, Laura? I'm Tom. I'm Tom. Matt. Vegan food in Egypt, or uh, stuff that you can eat. Yeah, there as were a vegan. there were lo there was loads of falafel, there was loads of baba ganoush, there was loads of tahini mm -hmm. everywhere. Like I, I ate that a lot. They also have a lot of flatbread that's vegan, and um, yeah, it was there were lots of vegan options. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly, most meals were meat wise, and they did try and make me eat meat and like. I went and bought this pie, and it was a spinach pie. And the guy was like, "Oh, I can, I can put some cheese in it for you." And I was like, "No, I'm good, thank you." And then he, and then he like tried to give me chicken, like just bits of chicken. And I was like, "Thank you, that's really kind of you, but no." You did have a story about uh, what? What was it? You did have a story about uh, going to the greengrocers, and and they, yeah. they tried to sell you something that was rotten or yeah. moldy. Yeah. So I went into um, the fruit and veg shop, and I think this is quite rare for tourists to do in the area that I was in. I think most of them kind of go to the hotel, eat at the hotel, go to the, the restaurants that the hotel recommends, and don't really experience real Egypt. So I just went into this fruit and veg shop, and the guy was obviously a bit like, oh, that's random that you're in here, but okay, whatever. And he was like, here, here, try this melon. And I was like, dude, I can see it's moldy. I'm not an idiot. And then I bought some other things, like some bananas and stuff, and he tried to charge me so much money, and I was just like, no. Right. It, more than I would have paid for in Hungary, more than I would have paid for in, in the UK. Yeah. But um, the then I, I was just like, no, no way. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to pay like a tenth of the price. And he was like, okay, that's fine. And he was really happy to barter with me. <laughs> Bartering and haggling, so that's something you also mentioned, bartering and haggling. And... That's something I enjoy mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. yeah. And it was different from Hungary. Yeah. You don't, really... you don't buy it. Yeah. No, we just, just the other day we bought a, a, a keyboard. It looks, it looks like an Egyptian. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. We have been working on music. I wrote this song. Do you love it? 
like it. You wrote this song? Yeah. Okay, quiz question. Who wrote that song? Me. Yeah? Are you called Freddy? Oh my god, I wish. But Freddy Mercury and I were born on the same day, so... Really? Yeah, I'm really fucking excited about that. Really? And I think he died the year I was born, so basically we're twins. Okay. That's, that's how that works. Your your reincarnated version of Freddie Mercury in female form. I really believe that. Okay. I don't care what anyone else says. <laughs> so embarrassed. Love it. Scarf. And I'm wearing a velvet jacket. You're the velvet. Have you ever seen the movie Blue Velvet? I haven't seen that. Okay, you have to watch Blue Velvet. I love that. I love he's hot. He's weird. Is he hot? In a weird way, I think he's hot. He kind of reminds me of you. I'm gonna get lipstick for your face. This is not live stream, <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> um, okay. Keyboard at a, at an instrument shop in Budapest, and it was the only piece left. And yeah. When it was a p, it was the piece on display. So yeah. we bought the piece on display. And when you're in the UK, well, he said, didn't he say, is it okay? I mean, he said it in Hungarian, so I wasn't sure. But I thought he said, is it okay if you have the one on the shop floor? Yeah, absolutely. And I was like, well, or you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. but can I get a discount? Because in the UK, <laughs> you get a discount if it was the one on display, yeah. right? Yeah. Especially because he asked. He was like, is it okay? And I'm yeah. like, well, if you think it's not okay, then I'll take a discount. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and also, he, uh, first he said it. So he's been here for three or four days, and then in the shop owner or, the, or his sp uh, supervisor said it's only been here for two days, so. It wasn't dirty and it wasn't broken. No, it wasn't. I just thought I might as well ask. But they were that we you tried to ask for a discount mm -hmm. and they were just like no, 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 they didn't like it at all. Whereas in Egypt, I felt like they kind of respected me a little bit more. Like they were like, oh no, that's not true. Like because for example, in the taxi, you can barter with the price, and I said, okay, I'm I'm ready to pay this, and they were like, no, well it's different because it's night time, and I was like, bullshit, is it different because it's night time? And in the end, that I paid my price, you that's know, good. so. What? Another difference between Hungary and Egypt was the streets in in Egypt were crazy. Like you don't, there I don't have any crossings at all. You just walk in front of cars, and they don't really like have they don't really adhere to normal car rules, and everyone beeps, and oh. it kind of works though. They sort of just weave in and out of each other. What, what other countries have you been to that were similar? Um, I would say Morocco and um, pretty much everywhere in Southeast Asia. Yeah, as a Hungarian, what what questions would you have before going to Egypt? For me, dude, I don't know. Okay. Um, food, water. I I mean, I think my my uh, dad or some some someone I know visited Egypt. Oh. They got they all got the shits. Yeah. Yeah, you got the shits as I got well. The shits. Oh, Laura got the shits. It was good. They were good shits. Uh, it was because <laughs> I um I drank the seawater mm -hmm. and it just went straight through me. And um, because um, I went scuba diving, same thing happened to me at Lake Balat when I drank Did some it? of the water and I got the shits for a week. So mm. you're not special. Okay. Egypt is not special. Um, Hungary is better. We can get better shits here. <laughs> um, you can't drink the tap water in Egypt, and I find that really interesting because I feel like as people from Europe, we're more advantaged just by having clean water, for mm. kind of for free. Like, yeah. you can get free water anywhere mm. here. Right? If, I, if I was, like, president of the world, you know, someday, I would push for, like, clean water for everyone. Every mm. country, I think every country should have free running water yeah. from the tap, like, clean running water. Free power, free water, free... Mm -hmm. I would say free housing, free yeah. internet. Free, free food. Free food, I mean... Yeah. Um, why not? We're well, no, I, I I do think that most most uh, states would have the money to do that. It's free healthcare. The, the free healthcare, free education. Yeah. Um, some basic free, some basic free, free vehicles, mm -hmm. maybe even oh, the bikes. Everyone could get a free bike. Yeah. It would be very basic. That would be great. Um, and I'd yeah, and yeah, and once again, free free housing. I think <laughs> housing should be free free for all. But for some very basic and and the, and the basic. The first things I noticed a difference between Egypt and Hungary is there are lots of tevas. Teva? Teva? Yeah. Teva. Yeah, in the plural. Tevek. 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 Mm. There are many Tevek in Egypt and they're just like walking down the street, you know, people are normally riding them. Mm -hmm. 
And also there are a lot of horses and they take up the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do you think it's vegan to ride a camel? No, uh, well, uh... I am, um, I was always kind of biased towards riding camels and horses because I really want it. I like riding horses and I've always really wanted to buy, ride a camel. Mm -hmm. So before I went to Egypt, I was like, Oh, I can probably find a camel that's like well treated and one, you know, I'll pay a little bit extra and mm -hmm. I'll find someone who's really nice to the camel and that's not a thing in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Like anyone who has a camel has like whipped the camel into right. submission and they literally asked, many men came up to me, many like men with their camels came mm -hmm. up to me and said, hey, do you want to hold the whip? Like it was something, it was something really exciting that I could do. Well, you were not excited like, to hold the whip now, were you? No. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Not with the camel, but they do whip each other. Actually, the the men just sort of like randomly whip each other. Well, it's like a joke. It's a nice sight. Yeah. Um. One of the nice things about Egypt was the men were very like nice to each other in terms of like hugging and mm -hmm. holding hands. Well, not holding hands, but like holding arms, walking mm -hmm, down the street. Mm -hmm. And you don't really get that in Hungary. No, we. I think we have talked about this in our trending armpit video. We did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that everyone loves. Oh, hang on a minute. Mm, there you go. Um, have we recorded enough? Yeah, you okay. done? Yeah, wanna say goodbye? Um...